Well, Three Waters is expected to be tabled in Parliament later this week. So what does that mean for Christchurch residents? Is it all over? Joining us is Christchurch City Councillor Sam McDonald. Good evening, Sam. Hi, Chris. How are you? Good, thank you. So is it all over or is there hope? Look, I don't think it is. What will happen this week, so we hear, is that the first tranche of legislation will be tabled in Parliament. And what that means is that all of the members of Parliament get to vote on it. Uh, so my plea, I guess, is to our local members of Parliament is to vote it down. I mean, the Act uh, National, and I think the Greens have also said they don't support it in its current form. And so I'm hopeful that actually if the public can put enough pressure on the Labour MPs, that we might be able to sort of, you know, kill this at the pass and, and vote it down this week. Sam, talk to me about Leanne Dalzell's role in this, because she's on the, the so-called working group. What does that mean, or is that just a, a Labour Party hack group? Uh, I, look, I don't think it's a hack group, but it's fair to say there have been a lot of government working groups established that haven't done a lot. I'm hopeful this one does. Um, it, it's going to look at a wee bit of the ownership and the governance structures and a few of those other technical details. Um, so look, it's better to have Leanne in the tent looking at that. Um, we're trying other options as well as a council in terms of how we can stop this. Um, but I mean, working groups often don't lead to anything, but ultimately we'll just have to see where that lands. Okay. If this is tabled in the Parliament later this week, honestly, what can the public do? Some would suggest it's too late, but you don't think it is? No, look, I, I don't. I mean, we live in a democracy and our local MPs are electorate MPs, so they are voted in by you and I uh, and the people of Christchurch. So we are fully entitled to write to them, to contact them and implore them to vote the right way on this stuff. You know, like I said before, National Act and the Greens have all said no. And so if we can put enough local pressure on our Labour MPs, you know, the Sarah Pallets, the Duncan Webbs, uh, the Megan Woods, uh, then actually they may vote this down and it may change the game entirely. So I, I'm really hopeful we can sort of, you know, cut this off at the knees and actually this legislation won't go any further for, uh, later this week. OK, Sarah Pallet and Duncan Webb held a public meeting recently, uh, I guess, endorsing these reforms. That probably comes as no surprise, though, to you. Uh, well, look, I wouldn't call it a public meeting. I've been asking Sarah Pallet, who's my local member of parliament here in Ireland, uh, for a public meeting for several weeks. Uh, she's refused. Uh, so instead, her and Duncan had a webinar where you had to email her office, uh, log in and get the details, and then the, the questions were tightly managed. So it certainly wasn't a public meeting. Uh, I'm still hopeful of getting one of them. Um, but look, they did endorse that approach, as you'd probably expect from government MPs. Um, but ultimately, they are elected by the people of Christchurch. They're not elected by the Labour Party in Wellington. And with these reforms not stacking up, you know, one of the really good examples is people think that actually if this is absorbed by central government, that you won't get a bill. You'll now get your rates bill and a water bill on top of that. And so it's all of these things that are going to have real impacts on the people of Christchurch, and, and that's why they need to vote it down. OK. Well, well, I guess we'll wait and see what happens this week. Christchurch City Councillor Sam McDonald, thanks so much for your time this evening. Thank you, Chris.